Aloha everybody, Mike Drutar, your Hawaii real estate expert here for you and have a nice treat for you today. We're on Broker's Caravan and a great listing that's on here. This comes courtesy of Dorinda Thatcher with Coldwell Banker Island Properties. We have a five bedroom, six and a half bath house, 3,928 square feet, 1,100 square feet of lanai, sweeping ocean views three car garage really built nice we're priced at 2.3 million on this one there's a lot of really nice touches in here that kind of put this above the rest you are going to see a few people and you'll hear a little bit of noise with people talking because like i said this is a a caravan uh there are a bunch of brokers and agents here and also other people from the neighborhood just checking it out as neighbors will do so Big thanks to Dorinda. Let's take a look. First thing that I noticed right off the bat is we have stucco and a lot of places they'll do the stucco, but they don't do the stucco on the eaves. As you're looking under, look up and you'll notice that they did stucco on the bottom of the eaves as well. A lot of places they'll just go back to some sort of plywood that's painted or other thing like that. The other thing that's really good is they got these concrete tiles. Those things are going to last forever. Um, I mean, those are like 50, 100 year tiles. It's pretty incredible. We got a super wide two car garage plus a third car over here. So plenty of parking, but you're not here to look at the garage. You wanna get inside and check out the house. A wonderful entry. As soon as you even, before you even come to the, the door, you can see the backyard drawing you in that way. We're gonna peel off here quickly to the right to one of two completely detached guest suites. So this is really awesome. You have friends coming on over. They can have their own space. Everyone likes that. You can handle the friends and family a little bit more when you have a little bit of space. So they got their own water closet, their own shower, good size, it's beautiful. You got a 12 by 24 travertine with this nice aquamarine stripe looks great tile all the way up to the ceiling we like to see that at this price point we got travertine on the floors these are 18 by 18 dual sliders out super high ceilings with the tongue and groove we've seen that in some of the other videos very hawaiian on the style the thing that they did that's really nice is having all those windows up there when you open those windows that really helps move the air out of here and even from this guest suite we have some pretty amazing ocean views i see the pool i'm sure you notice that too you're wanting to see that we're definitely going to check that out we have an extra large closet and we're looking at a traditional king size bed privacy louvers on the window so this is a great guest suite and like I said, there's two of these guest suites. There's another one over there that we'll check out in a moment. Right back here at the entry, we have this wonderful little water feature with the waterfall. And then in through here, extra wide hallway coming on in with a wonderful living space. We see that same look in the high ceilings. It might be a little bit higher in here even. They look great. And then down here, this is really rare for my market. 24 by 24 tiles. Those are super large. They look incredible. Let's come over here to the corner where the light's behind us. We get a better look at this room. They use that same travertine as the baseboard going up about six inches. So that looks really sharp. We can see our kitchen. We're gonna go, go over there and look really close here. We got this built-in, and one thing they did here on the built-in and in the kitchen, it's a beautiful granite, it could be quartz, I'll have to find out for sure, but this rough edge. So I like when they do it this way, it looks like it's a super thick piece of granite. There's actually a seam right there where they roll it, and they've done a really good job of matching this up and grinding it, so you can't even hardly tell that it's actually two pieces, one on top of the other. Looks really, really sharp there. Stainless on the appliances, that's what we would expect to see. Crown molding on the top of the cabinets, chrome pulls. We got the dual height island, so that looks really sharp. And then 
this tile backsplash that they did here. I've not seen this before and it looks great. Um, I like the multicolored look that they have here. This is coming out a little bit gray. That's a little bit more blue there in the center than it's coming out on the camera. Um, actually, the one down there in the lower corner is a little more representative of the color. Uh, it looks really sharp. Five burner gas grill. That will be propane, of course. And then over here, we have our traditional sink. This one's black. And then we have this really unique prep sink. Now, I've never seen a prep sink quite like this. Really great for washing fruit, cutting up veggies, cutting up meat, whatever you need to do. I've become a big fan of prep sinks. A lot of times when you're hosting, maybe both of you, if you're a couple, are working in the kitchen getting things done, having two sinks is absolutely key for that. Continuing here a little bit in the kitchen off to the side, we have a utility sink over here, that same granite. I like it when people don't skimp in the utility area. Washer and dryer, cabinets there. And then we have a good sized pantry. Plenty of storage there for that. So that's really good. Really, really great kitchen. Really like it. I like that how it's set up. When you're here in the kitchen, you can see outside to the, to the awesome view. Let's peel back out of the main house. Well, we're still in the main house, but we're going to come back to the entry and then walk over to our other guest suite. Remember, this has two guest suites, and this one's really plush. So we have a king-size bed in here again, 18-inch tiles again, plenty of space. These are... These are really large guest suites. Again, we got the privacy louvers on the windows. Nice TV. And then we have a bar sink. A little place to make some coffee. We have a good little walk-in closet here. So I'd say we're looking at about five and a half feet by three feet is just enough where you can call it a walk-in I think and then let's come down into our bathroom of this guest suite so we have our water closet to the side nice soaking tub and yes it is jetted A really nice sink area so you got a little makeup area here for for that with a giant mirror going all the way up and then this mirror continues all the way down the beautiful sink and then this is a unique piece of granite here so we got the, the blue glass tile backsplash and then down here on this granite, we got some blue in here check that out so that looks really sharp. And then we have our shower. This is a little smaller than the shower in the other guest suite. I don't think that one had a bathtub though. And they use that blue glass block here. That looks really sharp. I like the way they trim that one out quite a bit. That's a one person shower. Just enough space. All right, let's work our way back into the house we still have to check out the view in the pool and the main bedroom so back here at our main living space we're gonna go over to the left here so when I first walked in here I thought this was going to be a powder room but it's actually a full bathroom well technically a three-quarters bathroom because it doesn't have a tub but as far as I'm concerned if you have a shower you're a bathroom and then another bedroom they have this set up as an office so this faces the back of the property up Malka so you have your garden view here 
It's actually really nice with the rock wall work they did there and the planting. It looks really sharp. And that's the service door. That was out of the back of the bathroom of that second guest suite. And a really good size walk-in closet here. I'd say we're looking at about seven by five. So this is gonna be your smallest bedroom. It's gonna be a little bit tricky because of where things are. There's only a couple walls to put a bed in. You can put a bed over there and you can put another one over here. It's probably best served as an office, like they have it set up now, um, but you do have flexibility to make it a bedroom. Legally, it's a bedroom. We see the same high ceilings, tongue and groove, with all the windows up there, it looks great. Let's come check out the main bedroom. So we walk into our main bedroom. This is the only room I think I've seen with carpet. We have a massive walk-in closet. We're looking at this one. This is probably six or seven feet by 12 feet, maybe 14. Really good size, plenty of space, shelves built in for shoes. Really like that. You got shirt racks, dress racks, more shirt racks. I like the closet. A little kitchenette. Have your little mini fridge right here. Keep a coffee maker and a little sink. But the main bathroom is over here. It looks great. We have a light blue on that back wall. The rest of it is a, a little lighter blue even. This wonderful granite. And then a large soaking tub. Ooh, kick the scale. I don't want to step on that right now. That is not information that I want. Travertine tile on this. I like the total glass uh, in on the shower. That looks sharp. Water closet with the privacy door. And then out to the bedroom. So we're looking at about... 16 by 16 with a 45 on that angle there. King size bed. Massive amount of space. Just a ton of space. Right now they have the blinds closed there, but it looks like that is a corner window with a seam and no post in between. We'll look at it from the other side. We got a, a French door opening slider out. And then here's the view. I think this is what you guys are wanting to see. Pretty spectacular view. We've got fire escaping with the tiki torches. We got a hot tub over here. Really nice in the infinity edge pool. A hot tub has a waterfall that flows into the pool. And then over here, I wanted to point out this window. That's gonna be really nice to wake up to, having that seam, no seam right there. There's no post on that corner. So that's just a total window. So you wake up in the morning and you got this incredible view. I like that. Little touch like that. This is also a good time to take a look at some of the other things. So we got stucco on the home. We got stucco on the eaves. Really good job on there. Recessed lighting. We got that same granite that we saw in the kitchen. Looks great. We have the built-in gas grill for grilling with the vent hood. That's what's required if you have a gas grill or any grill on a covered area. And then this, this is, you know, if you like hosting some get togethers, having some parties, this is fun. You got a little wine refrigerator right there. You got your prep sink. You got your great view. Right now there's some bags and floral arrangements, but this is your view. Check that out. What do we think, guys? Will that do? Pretty nice view. There's no doubt you're in Hawaii with this.
Really great view. So we don't have any houses obstructing our view. We have a few trees that come up with their nice accents. And one thing that's really nice, we have a shoreline view. A lot of times you can have an ocean view without seeing the shoreline. People really want the shoreline view. That's worth a little bit more. And it really is primo on this one. So let's run back through the house and we're gonna go out to the garage area. There's a whole guest house above the garage as well. Pretty amazing. There is a lot to this house. Plenty of room for parking. You have guests over. Plenty of room for backing out of your garage and making it through. We have a gate. That's an automatic gate entry. Oh, this is kind of nice. They save some of the tiles. These things do crack from time to time. And it's nice to have a supply of matching tiles so that when you go to change something out, if there is a crack, that you have stuff there. You can get new tiles, but it's not gonna match. The color's gonna be different. Little sitting area over there. Don't know how much you'll use that. It's probably gonna be, you know, maybe if you rent this section out long-term, the folks might use that sitting area, possibly. So we have a walkway up to that uh, guest room. And then a gate out here to our garden. You could do a lot out here with the garden. They got some pineapple. Uh, we got an avocado tree that's just loaded up with avocados right now. And those look like Sherwills, which are really good. That's what you're looking for. That's the best one. We got some citrus. And up into our other guest house. You got to be kidding me. So in here we have a queen size bed, French pocket door entry, this really big window letting in plenty of light, I like the little bench setup that they have there. So you got some storage underneath there, plus a nice little bench, that's fun. Good space in here. Recessed lighting, big ceiling fan. And then over to the other side, there's your bathroom, standard tub. They did do a little bit of work by uh, putting a rim around the top of the tub matching the travertine that we have up here. Well, fun little accent there, I'm breaking it up. and still dual sinks. So that's nice. And then we come through to the living space <laughs> for this. So you don't have the ocean view from this guest house, but you have the two guest rooms, guest suites, I guess we would say, with their own private entry that are not connected to the main house, at least not connected through a doorway. But you don't have a living space. This one, you have the bedroom and the living space a sink area for prep, a little dishwasher. Oh, they have an island on wheels here. That's nice. Another built-in on a giant picture window. Love that. Plenty of space in here. Uh, you know, you could do this a little bit differently. Right now they have it set up with this daybed couch sort of thing, kind of an Indonesian flair that we see from time to time out here. You could set this up a little bit differently if you wanted. Um, I do like it being open and having a lot of space. And then you even have a big lanai here. Pretty awesome. And even a little peekaboo ocean view. There you go. So they did a good job here. So we got a flat roof. And a lot of times people, you know, boy, flat roofs, not popular. Um, but this one has a lot of pitch for a flat roof. I don't know how well it's going to come out on camera, uh, but it's definitely got some roll. You can see a really nice peak right along there, and it runs to the uh, drain collector there. You can see another one here. But not having any trees over the house, you know, it's something you check on every year or so to make sure there's nothing collecting in there, stopping your flow of water out. Also really good to be up here. You can see the condition of the tiles. What year were we built here? We were built in 
It says 2015, that doesn't sound right. I might have to double check that. I think she said 2009 with the guest house here finished in 2015. So that might be why it's showing 2015. But you can see the condition of the roof, the skylights, all the windows throughout. Really nice. Okay. I think this is an incredible property. Um, it's in a very desired neighborhood, way at the top of Sunset. Kind of got to take a serpentine route to get here. That's how you know it's in a nice, quiet area when you're in Kona. Uh, but you get up here and you don't have a ton of neighbors and it's really quiet and this elevation is really awesome. All right, tell me what you think. We have two guest suites, a guest house, a three-car garage, an infinity pool, tons to look at. Thank you guys. Appreciate you checking it out. Tell your friends. Aloha.